Did you know that early child development and education is one of the most important factors for what happens through the rest of the life? The Schools for Health in Europe network has produced a fact sheet where you can read more about inequality in health and how to work with it in schools. It is important to realize that inequalities are not absolute. The most disadvantaged children in some countries outperform the most privileged children in others. The first priority to reduce inequality in health is to have all children attending school. One relevant strategy to promote equality is to attract the most talented staff to the most disadvantaged schools. Improving school management have a powerful impact on equality. It's important to have high expectations for all the students in terms of achievement. Teachers sometimes expect less of students from lower socio-economic backgrounds. Improving the quality of education also comes through activities other than core subjects, such as sports, arts, outdoor activities, gardening. There are several different areas that you can work on to reduce inequality in health in schools. We need a strong focus in schools on creating health-promoting practices and enabling all children and young people to make decisions about health and well-being. Schools for Health in Europe make every school a health-promoting school.